Uh, as we move into the older part of the orchard, um, up along the fence here, this was, this plant right here, was a gift to me last year by our beekeeper. It is called um, cut leaf coneflower, or some people call it green coneflower. It grows to be about five or six feet tall. The uh, plants that are on here are yellow. They're very attractive to the bees, which is why he brought it for me. Um, our bees are kept by, don't we don't own them, but they are kept by Glenn Heil. Um, he is one of the beekeepers in Fort Wayne, and he also does, like he'll take care of swarms, things like that. If people have a swarm, they can call him. Um, but we have now three, four, five hives. Uh, three of these were ones that survived the winter. And um, there was a fourth one last year that did not survive the summer season. Uh, he has put, uh, he has replenished that one and added another hive um, and added more bees. So they're very busy here. We don't actually have any problem with the bees as far as them being aggressive or anything, they pretty much keep to themselves. And we just try to make sure that we are respecting their space and giving them lots of food. Uh, in, in, and in along that vein of conversation, this here is um, giant hyssop, I believe. And it's going to also be quite tall, it might be four, five, six feet tall. It's gonna have purple flowers. The beekeeper says they will totally go crazy over it. And this should take over this whole hilly area. Just like the cutleaf coneflower, um, the cutleaf coneflower native, it'll take over that whole incline so that this area that's difficult to mow is not going to need mowing for very long. And it will be full flowers with food for the bees. Um, the bees will eat on those. And then the other ones that are over here, these are, um, oh my gosh, cup plant. This is native to Indiana. This was brought to me by the beekeeper to plant for the bees. And these also get quite tall. So as I'm growing all of these areas, I am also providing some privacy screening for the property, um, which I'm kind of interested in doing.